Just recently, I've been thinking very deeply about the wonderful Aboriginal paintings in Australia that I've seen on my various trips. And one of the things that I noticed about them, there was this intensity of dots, a whole language of using spots and dots. And some of them were quite monochrome. Uh, one in particular that I saw recently had a, a white base with darker spots on it. And I just thought that was very interesting. And I had quite a few uh, fabrics that Brandon had designed uh, that were black and white and had this kind of white base uh, and this particular one called Onion Rings, which um, I'm going to show you pieces here. Uh, this is Onion Rings, which is, a, I think, a wonderfully useful fabric. It gives you beautiful movement and a kind of primitive geometry. Available this August. And um, this is another one that I really like very much. It's kind of a take on a simple checkerboard, but we've got, um, you know, the kind of abstract craziness of checkerboard kind of falling apart. <clears throat> then um, his wonderful jumble. We have a whole uh, collection of these in wonderful colors. Now, when I put this onto the quilt, uh, you can see that it's very, very bright. And what I wanted was a kind of overall um, level of color and intensity. And this was just too bright. So what I did, if you can move in here, Rosie, um, is put a little dot in the middle of each of the um, circles so that I created another kind of fabric and that took the edge off of the brightness and let it sink back into the composition. I think you can see there that they now work quite well. So that's something what one can do with a, with a permanent marker. Just make your own fabrics, become your own designer. Uh, I have things like this in it, which is an old fabric that I designed that had several different um, colorings in the same fabric. And that uh, created a very nice little texture, like here, you can see. Uh, I also used some Liberty fabrics, but some of them, even though, if you look closely, they have wonderful texture. But when you get back from it, it becomes just a kind of mass. And I wanted a certain level of brightness here uh, and, and, and a, a, a scale that made it really articulate. So you could see all of the different um, elements. So uh, when I took out those really small ones, now, what was I going to show? You? Oh, this is the smallest thing, which is a kind of snakeskin. But even though it's quite small dots, it is creating quite a larger pattern, and that makes it just work. But you have to be careful that things don't just disintegrate uh, and become totally mushy in a composition like this. Another thing that I did was to cover up certain bright things that I put in that went flat. This is a beautiful little articulate pattern, if you look closely at it, uh, based on uh, African uh, beads, but because it was so dark, it stood out. And so I've taken that out. Um, what else have I got? Oh, this is another one that was interesting. I love this big, bold uh, piece of marbling that I bought in, a, in Houston at one of the markets. But because it was so strong, the light areas, I had to do something about that. So here you can see I've added little black spots to make that integrate into the composition. So now you can just look at the whole thing without me in front of it and uh, see what fun it is to create a, a design like this. Put on this stash. That I think is just uh, 
playing with just one kind of textural idea and doing so many variations on it, but keeping it close enough in tone that it becomes a whole integrated mass and keeps you looking. The main thing I think I want in a quilt is to not have you figure it out in the first five minutes of looking at it like a stark red and white quilt that is just very readable. You look at something like this because you keep finding mysterious little corners. I think my last thought on this composition is that this is a once-off experiment that I just thought I would share with you. It's using a lot of my stash, things from the past, um, because it takes a collection of elements to put together that all have the same mood and the same level of contrast. Uh, you can't really get that out of a current collection anywhere, I don't think. So this is just an experiment. If you want to try it, uh, start collecting um, and you could do it in any kind of colorway. You could do it all in reds or blues or something like that. It could be quite exciting. Uh, they're six inch square. So that's the only thing to remember and have fun. Wait.